screen. This is smart. Left alone. It's the lob pass out wide. Cross now for Harrison Barnes. He elevates and rushes back up the floor. Marcus Smart in support. Fires quickly. Great. If Australia's going to be competitive, need to get a lot more out of Joe Ingalls. Got like to see him get going early. They love the ball inside. Landale shares it now. Baines got a good look at it. Nice off the hand. He comes up with it. Over the last couple of years in the NBA, no problem at all for the corner three. Oh, they are unconscious at the moment. He was almost at the halfway line. USA by four, almost three minutes played, opening quarter action. Mills works into the paint, fall away, and nice finish his first score in the game. The aggressiveness of the defense of Australia as well. Well, oh, that's a good start from Australia as Baines jumps up. Finally, that's where we want to see him because he will serve it up in a platter like we've seen the last two possessions. Middleton fires. It's up to the races with Donovan Mitchell. Decides to go solo, and it was a good option as Mitchell comes. for Team USA. Aussie's doing well on the offensive glass at the moment, 4-1. Here's Walker, who checks into the game and has an immediate impact and opens his account. Well, that was a great... ...by Della Vadova. Loses the handle, has to go back and retrieve it. Now some contact, no whistle. Walker goes on with it, and why not when you can finish like that? So a chance for the USA to come forward. Kemba Walker, well, he's going solo at the moment, and look at that finish. He's done here, Team USA, as Ingles works into the corner. Catch and shoot, Kane from that man, Chris Cole. Slower tempo from the Boomers as Bogut gets it. Shot clock to single digits. Now on the floor wants Ingles rolling to the hoop from close range. He gets the two. And now Kemba Walker with it for the United States. Scott Jalen Brown working with him. That's a tough shot, but he made it look easy to come up. Ingles guarded by Jalen Brown. A clear out for him. Here's Nick Kay rolling down to the low block. Did well, protected the ball and came in. Della Dover getting some treatment, needs help. This is Ingles. Works into the paint, largely uncontested and off class. The floor. Game working to the foul line and now decides to fire over the top. Australia in front for the first time in the game. You together, one of the mantras from uh, Coach Popovich is composure and poise. And being headed by the... With it, shot clock works to single digits now as he shares it to Marcus Smart. Against Baines, we caught him a little off balance and he gets down low and off glass. That's a Landale. Goes back to Creek. Muscles into the paint from close range. Nice finish for Mitch Creek. The USA with just two field goals in this quarter. Look at Mills look off the D and get down low and add another two. Cheapies. Top of the key. This is Brown firing and filling it up. A much needed bucket for. And a chance now for Team USA to tie it away. Get off! And it sinks. And they have tied it. Best over a long period of time. Love him. This is Paddy Mills. Took over two minutes out from halftime. He puts the foot on the accelerator and he gets a user-friendly roll as well. He's up to nine points in. Walker looking for the answer and he has got it. And that's what we're talking about in the last out. Just worried him out of it. As Tatum grabs it next. Still yet to score in the game, but if you're going to win when you're scoring a count, do it. Norm by the Boomers. Well, ten lead changes in this term. It has been an outstanding action as Boga goes to win. He may be pound for pound the strongest player in our domestic NBL. How about that finish? Nice work there. In game one, Turner. 15 points, 14 boards. Here he is again. Wheeling and dealing and a nice finish as well. His first field goal of the game. Now's good with a rebound and off and running. This is looking dangerous for the USA as he feeds Barnes who works closer to the hoop and comes up with the... If you get numbers back, they're good enough to be able to score against numbers. Mills, off balance, fire on one leg. Comes up with a chance now for Kemba Walker. Oh, look at the quicks he's got. Yeah, too fast. He's long so far. Nine point edge. It's been 16 points to eight in favour of the USA in this quarter. But Bogut gets a user friendly roll and he's now into double figures with 11 and no. Golding, now Bogut. Behind the back pass, Mills back to Boga, confronted by Plumley. You can't guard me. I'll have two. I'll go to the line. Gone back to the Rio days here. The ball movement, the slickness, the way in which they're coordinating with each other, and the big man Andrew Boga stepping up and finishing around the rim. This is a thing of beauty. That's a great pass from Paddy Mills. You've got to respect him when he comes off those pick and rolls. Nice little pocket. Miss. 
30 seconds done in the final term. Ingles, harassed by Middleton, is playing with three fouls. Ingles, good use of the body and just helps himself to two. Australia have a four-point buffer here. And Ingles up to two. Ingles, one of the craftiest players you want to see at any level. Here he is, reads the defense, gets him on his back. And just a, don't underestimate what Aaron Baines did there as well. Just a nice little block. It was battered and deflected, but it came to him now. And the big man's got it with five on the shot clock. He goes to work with a hook shot against Miles Turner. Australia scored 10 without reply and lit it by six. Oh, big play at the other end. They needed that Team USA. It was slipping away. And not much more Aaron Baines could have done. He made good position. The defensive trans transition off the main basket. Here we see Baines just takes his time. No help comes. So Baines with a left-hand hook. And down the other end, had to do his work. Just the little reaching got him caught. Just better off keeping the hands up. But the defensive transition are both being challenged. Don't think that Popovich isn't going to those huddles now. Trialing different things. He's evaluating what players are going to get it done. And critics. This is where we need Andrew Bogut on the court as well. I think we have to find a way for Bogut and Baines. As we see a big three corner pocket for Harris. And now and Baines to play together because they're our two best big men. Mills catch and shoot for the answering three. Australia back on top. The intensity you can see to the Bogut. Gets it back for Ingalls. Guarded by Turner in a mismatch. Might like his chances here, says I do indeed. Joey stepping up exactly when the boom is needed. Hasn't shot the ball well so far in this offseason. It just goes bang. Fans getting involved as well here. Good defensive pressure sensing the moment. Joe Ingles, as you mentioned, Hammer, as smooth as silk. Just a little step back there, gets his legs underneath him and knocks down the three to give the Pumas the lead. And then... He beckons here in Melbourne as Mills retreats away from Tatum and they reset. They isolate for Mills and the triple. The bank is open at Marvel Stadium in front of 50. 86. The Boomers with the fans behind them. They go to Barnes and from close range. Goes to Delavadova. This is Bogan. Shot clock rolls to single numbers. Is Mills the man again? Oh, he's more than that. Okay, beautiful recognition. Foul here. Ingles. Mills. The do it all. What a cut, what a pass. The Boomers have doubled the amount of assists of Team USA. They've done it by committee. Unselfish basketball. And have a look at that. Patty Mills puts it on the glass. Too late. Count it. They love the emotion. Bogan protects the ball from Barnes. Deliver Dover looking for Mills. Beckons him toward the ball from the elbow. Mills. Ball movement again, but a bigger shot. You don't play better D than that. Patty Mills, too good. Donovan Mitchell draws Bogan out and calmly ices three. A bit more better ability to get out and cover the three-point line. They let it fly, and Nichols has got it. Australia on the edge of the most remarkable win. They need a foul. And they do. Donovan Mitchell gets the foul. He's out of the game. 